On today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use nitrogen to pinpoint a leak in the system. I checked the capacitor, I put my gauges on, and I can see that I did definitely have an issue with the compressor. When I did come and inspect the system out here, I did see that there was a little bit of residue oil on the coils, and I could smell the refrigerant. The first thing you want to do is pull the disconnect. Now we are going to remove the fan motor so that we can inspect the coils. Okay, after I inspected the coils on the condenser, I can see here is where I'm getting a lot of oil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the system off and I'm going to charge the system with nitrogen and see if I can get or locate uh, the leak. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the nitrogen. You can do it on the high or the low side, just make sure your system is off. And I'm going to charge it on the high side, obviously, because you can see that the leak is on the high side. Again, make sure the system's off and then turn on the nitrogen. I can already hear it. I can see slight bubbling here, and when I put my finger, I could hear the leak. What you can do also is you can also take some liquid gas leak detector and we can put that on the line to better pinpoint the leak. Turn off your nitrogen. So we are at this point going to have to replace the coil on this condensing unit. There are many methods that you can use um, when trying to locate a leak. The Three methods are, one, they do have specific specific dyes that you can put into the system and basically use a special UV light and uh, that'll show you where the leak is. I've used that method before and it worked great. I was having an issue on an evaporative coil and it pinpointed the leak. Uh, second, you can do uh, the nitrogen method. Uh, sometimes it's a little difficult depending again where the leak is. It could be at the condensing coil, um, it could be at the evaporative coil, could even be a leak somewhere along the line. Uh, the third method that I've seen also is um, used by technicians, uh, pulling a vacuum, pull a proper vacuum, and uh, your gauges will let you know if you have a leak, if the pin does move um, once you stop the vacuum. So once again, if you need any other questions or if there's any comments, feel free to leave them. If uh, you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And again, thank you for watching.